seeing the sensationalised reports, I mean, like most farmers, we just shake our heads. It's it's not what everybody's about. It's not the general um, consensus. It's not the general view of most farmers. I'm a little bit concerned by some of the emotion being pushed by the current media uh, interest in the bush because it's been part of the Australian agriculture scene for many years. Our business relies on feeding cattle, this is what we do 365 days of the year and when we're competing with people that are now stuck in a um, emotional uh, or, or commitment um, phase rather than an economic phase, uh, we're competing with people that really I think if they had their time over, they would have sold their cows at the start, but they're committed now and they've got to pay what they've got to pay. We know it'll rain again, it always has. But we've had droughts before and we'll have them again. We'll get through this one. And most farmers, the good operators, will survive because to some extent they have prepared uh, in what way they can for, what, for this current event. In, in a way, a drought's a necessary evil that can help um, cut out that bottom 10% that probably shouldn't be there anyway. Um, w we would never let our stock get to that, that's not our business. I mean we made the decision 12 months ago, not necessarily from the drought point of view but it, but it, it helped um, push us along, we, we halved our breeding herd. Cloudless skies does tend to give you great sunsets but uh, I'd sooner have some red sunrises actually <laughs> rather than red sunsets. Authorised by S. Morrison, Liberal Party Canberra.